Hello, and welcome to a presentation by Andy Soltho for class English 2342. Today, we're going to be talking about The Tower by Margarita Lansky. Hello, so let's start with the introduction of the setting and the author of the story. We're going to start with her name. Her name was Margaretina Lasky. She was born on October 24th of 1915 and passed away February 6th of 1988. She was born in Manchester, England, and the story, The Tower, she wrote in the year of 1955, which the setting of that story takes place in Italy, mostly Florence. It takes place during the bottom half of the 20th century. We know that because in the story, the main character, which we'll get to, drives a car, which cars are not exactly an old tech. They're actually pretty modern. The main place of the story is a tower that was constructed in 1535 called the Tower of Sacrifice, and that tower was constructed by another character by the name of Niccolo de Fermamo. We follow a young woman, her name being Caroline, and her husband Neville, recently moving into the area of Florence. And amidst her first tour around the area, she comes across the tower. Her uh, to, to view the gallery and learn more about the family. As Caroline's curiosity continues forth, she comes across the tower. She goes inside the tower an hour before sundown, mm -hmm. taking a mental note of how many times, how many steps she takes up the tower. Also talking about how the decay of the railing and the stairs gets a little more and more as she gets up. As the sun gets uh, to the horizon, and gets darker, she finally ends up at the top step, the 470th step, realizing there's nothing more but a locked door that she cannot get into. But things are darker as she starts to head down. Her brain fills with anxieties and, and fears because she doesn't really know how to, or it's hard for her to go downstairs in the dark. And for anyone, it's scary. So she has her hand up against the wall as she goes all the way down. But soon the darkness gets in her mind, and her hand is scraping blood on it against the wall as she desperately tries to walk down as it gets ever darker, praying that she doesn't take one bad step and fall to her death. But soon things take a turn. Remember when I said that she took 470 steps to the top? The story comes to a close when she's counting, and she gets up to 504 more than what she had ever originally gone up in the first place. And that's how the story itself ends. So what exactly happened to our character, Caroline? Is she stuck? Is she miscounting? Or are there darker forces at play? A detail that I purposely left out was that earlier in the story, Neville mentions the creator of the tower, Nicolo, had a rumor, or as he puts it, as, he, as he's certain, had a making in black magic. But that's all the evidence we get about it. So are there darker forces at play to this story? Or is she just bad at math? We come to the theories of how the story ends, because the story in and of itself is ambiguous. My favorite theory about the story is that Caroline is indeed trapped in an infinite staircase, doomed to keep going down into eternal darkness which, on page four of the story, we could deduct that because of Neville's, uh, question, or Neville's statement about black magic. Another theory I have is that it's all in her head. The paranoia from the statement by her husband has caused her to panic and start to distort the counting. And she could have just miscounted, and maybe even in the turnaround, because it's dark, she's scared, she doesn't know what's happening, she could be going right back up the stairs and end up falling to her death. The story is left ambiguous for the reader to figure out. With the ambiguity deep in our minds, we wonder what happened to her. And that's when we come to the grand conclusion. Personally, I think that she's doomed to a black magical, possibly satanic, infinite curse of going down those stairs in the dark forever. Or... The secondary theory, she's crazy. She lost it. She's scared. And either way, Caroline's lost.